راغبا في كل علم نافع ينمو العلم ويتقدم بتقنياته ومجالاته ومعه نطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى لنا زاد أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلوات الله وسلامه على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين I start in the name of Allah the Lord of the worlds the compassion the merciful and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad his family his companions and his followers all until the day of judgment I welcome you to this new lesson from the series of Tafsir at uh, Zad Academy and we are continuing the Tafsir and the interpretation of Ayat Al-Kursi, the greatest Ayah in the glorious Qur'an. And we stopped at uh, the discussion of uh, his saying, subhanahu wa ta'ala, لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم. And we said that sinna is the uh, drowsiness and slumber that uh, precedes sleep. And then, uh, in it, but of course, sleep is not, is not uh, a characteristic of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Sahih of Al Imam Muslim, meaning the book of Hadith, uh, which is by Al Imam Muslim, that Abu Musa radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa stood uh, uh, addressing us and he said, uh, 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 subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, he said uh, alayhi salatu wa salam uh, four words inna allah la yanamu wa la yanbaghi lahu ayyanam allah does not sleep and it is not a characteristic of him to sleep it's not part of his uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala way is is to sleep uh, this hadith, له ما في السماوات. Now, when, when coming to the uh, uh, second part of the ayah, the second sentence, له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض. This is to tell us that everyone is a slave of Allah and it, within his dominion and sovereignty, uh, under his own control and under his own rule, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, as he said, in kullu man fi samawati wal ardi illa ati rahmani abda. That uh, everyone in the heavens and the earth is going to come uh, to ar Rahman as a slave, as a servant. No one is immune from that. And uh, uh, why did Allah say, lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi al ardi? Remember, as samawat is a plural and al ard is a singular. Why did Allah say, uh, 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 didn't say, for example, Al-Aradin, as he said, As-Samawat? Well, uh, they said uh, in the tafsir that, yes, if he said As-Samawat, then I actually, Al-Aradin, there's no need to say that because um, uh, you don't have to repeat the plural, just like when he said, subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa ja'ala al-dhulumati wa nur and he created uh, the darknesses and the light. And he didn't say the lights with the plural uh, you know, form. Uh, so that is possible, but we know for sure we're going to discuss uh, whether the uh, earth uh, is, is seven, just like the heaven, or are they, uh, or is only one. When we come to man dhalladhi yashfa'u indahu illa bi'idni, this is talking about shafa'a. Shafa'a is intercession, and shafa'a in, in linguistic, Arabic linguistic meaning, is when you uh, uh, make the odd even. So that is shafa'a, when you add 
one number, for example, to one, it becomes two, and they become even, and so on. But in the Islamic terminology, it is to intercede for someone else to bring uh, good or benefit, or to deter uh, 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 bad or harm. That's, that's what, is, what it means. That is a shafa. So no one shall intercede uh, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, except by his own permission. Why? Because of his glory subhanahu wa ta'ala, because of his pride and his status subhanahu wa ta'ala. So no one dares to uh, come and to intercede except by his own permission, even uh, including the prophets, even including our beloved prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So on the day of judgment, although he has uh, the, the nearest place to Allah and he's, he's so uh, uh, beloved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he cannot, he will not uh, intercede except by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah says, وَكَمْ مِنْ مَلَكٍ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ لَا تُغْنِي شَفَاعَتُهُمْ شَيْئًا إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ أَنْ يَأْذَنَ اللَّهُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَرْضَى So, uh, so many, so many of uh, angels in the, in the heavens who will, uh, uh, whose, whose intercession will not be of benefit to them for anything except after the permission, after Allah permits to whomever he wills and is pleased with. So that is, that is the way shafa'ah is, uh, is looked at this. Uh, it, it, again, it shows the might and the power and the uh, pride and the uh, status of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he uh, will... Uh, if he, if he intends to uh, show mercy to whomever among his own people, he will allow and give the permit uh, to someone to intercede for them. But, of course, the intercessor will not be starting this uh, before uh, the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why in the hadith under the judgment, the Prophet ﷺ will, uh, will be said to him, Irfa' ra'saka. تسمع واشفع تشفع ارفع رأسك وقل تسمع واشفع تشفع so raise your head and say you'll be heard and intercede so you'll be given the intercession this hadith was reported by an imam muslim so that is how the shafa'a is in its great, uh, great status يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم this new sentence is an evidence that Allah's knowledge is so encompassing of all creations, all entities in, in the world by uh, the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is in between their hands, meaning the uh, present or the future. So it's presently or in the future. And وَمَا خَلْفَهُمْ or what is behind them, meaning the past. So... Uh, uh, just like Allah uh, told us about the angels, وَمَا نَتَنَزَّلُ إِلَّا بِأَمْرِ رَبِّكْ لَهُ مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِينَا وَمَا خَلْفَنَا وَمَا بَيْنَ ذَلِكَ So we will not descend except by the uh, command of Allah, of your Lord. He has uh, the knowledge and, and the control of what is in between our hands and what is behind us and what is in between. So that in includes all the uh, uh, present, the future, and the, and the past as well. So no one is able to see or know uh, uh, the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for anything, about anything, except what Allah has told them subhanahu wa ta'ala and made them aware of and Another, another meaning which was said also by uh, the Mufassirin that they uh, cannot encompass uh, the knowledge of everything about him, the, uh, the, the, the knowledge of himself subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they will not know the knowledge about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about his names, attributes, uh, actions, except what he 
permits or wills for people to know, so they will, they will know it. Otherwise, they will not be able to know it. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wasi'a kursiyuhu samawati wal ard. Kursi is literally meaning a chair, but this is uh, here, it is the place for the two feet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, of course, uh, we cannot describe uh, the feet, the face, the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like uh, uh, us human beings or anything of, of Allah's creation. There is none unto like him. There is nothing that resembles Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in shape, form, or, or, or color, or anything. And, and that's why it is something that is suitable to his might, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But al-kursi, which is even greater and larger than the heavens and the earth, is the place for the two feet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu, who's the most knowledgeable companion about the, uh, the glorious Quran, says, Al-Kursi is the place of the two feet and Al-Arsh, the throne. Um, no one is able to uh, estimate uh, or to understand its, its hugeness and bigness. It's so huge and big, no one would be able to estimate it and to, to know its uh, dimensions. Uh, this hadith was uh, reported by uh, Abdullah ibn al-Imam Ahmad in his book As-Sunnah and was uh, declared uh, sahih and sound by al-Imam al-Albani. And of course, this uh, athar by Ibn Abbas is, is, is actually marfu' is, is, is going to be uh, raised to the level of being said to the Prophet Sallallahu because you cannot make ijtihad with this unless you have a knowledge you cannot say and that's why Ibn Abbas Radiallahu Anhu uh, said that based on the knowledge that he was given uh, by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam and, and Ahl Sunnah Wal Jama'ah talk about this uh, about the, the Kursi which is uh, again the place for the uh, two feet of Allah Azza wa Jal and this is what Al-Imam Ibn Taymiyyah, Al-Imam Ibn Al-Qayyim, and many of the people of knowledge uh, affirmed in this regard. And this shows the uh, perfect uh, greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the huge dominion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If the chair is encompassing the heavens and the earth, uh, re although they are so big and huge and what is in them is so, so huge and Al-Kursi is not the greatest of all creation. We know that the throne is even greater and anything, uh, uh, its dimension, and its bigness uh, is not known except by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَا يَؤُودُهُ حِفْظُهُمَا So uh, meaning they will not be heavy uh, to contain, to, to, uh, to preserve and to protect. So it's not uh, anything that is, is, is taking any effort by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he keeps and preserves and protects and, and uh, sustains uh, these, this creation, uh, meaning the heavens and the earth, and in what is in between. And uh, he is ever watching over everything, subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَهُوَ الْعَلِيُّ Al-Aliyu is so exalted above his throne, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is um, uh, exalted by his own dominion, by his own uh, control of all the creation. And, uh, of course, he is so exalted in, in, in might and because of his perfect attributes, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-Azim is so great that according, you know, compared to his own greatness, uh, no one comes near and everything is so little uh, compared to his greatness, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even the uh, great uh, kings and, 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 and presidents and emperors and people who control uh, kingdoms and, and, and other places, they, will, they, are, they are, according to Allah, is, uh, are almost nothing 
and subhanahu wa ta'ala who has this greatness and the pride and the uh, dominion and the sovereignty over everything. And Imam al-Sa'di, rahimahullah, uh, completing with his sentence that this ayah um, uh, actually contains the uh, tawheed, the oneness of um, uh, divinity and the oneness of lordship and the oneness of names and attributes. Uh, and again, affirming what we said, and this is exactly the true belief in the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his attributes because, again, al-Ali al-Azim, al-Hayy al-Qayyum, he this contains all of these beautiful, beautiful names. And especially we talked about Al-Hayy Al-Qayyum, which contains all of the uh, names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Until I see you, inshallah, in the coming lesson uh, of tafsir, I leave you with Allah's care and protection. Wallahu a'lam. Sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. يا راغبا في كل علم نافع ينمو العلم ويتقدم بتقنياته ومجالاته ومعه مطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى ننازات أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان